welcome back to another episode of the Behavioral Economics and Marketing Podcast Series. This is Sandra thomas Commonall. In this episode, we'll be talking about how to avoid office herd behavior. So jumping in, what is herd behavior? Herd behavior is a phenomenon in which individuals act collectively as part of a group, often making decisions as a group that they would not make as an individual. Demonstrations, riots, general strikes, sporting events, religious gatherings, everyday decision-making, judgment, and opinion forming are all forms of human-based herd behavior. As humans, we have all at some time in our lives exhibited herd behavior. A couple of common examples of herd behavior are Black Friday, choosing a restaurant based on the fact that it is busy, investing because friends, family, or co-workers are, gravitating towards large social groups, and pop culture idea of FOMO, or fear of missing out. Black Friday is a worldwide phenomenon where stores offer huge discounts on the gamut of goods and services to attract large numbers of customers. Customers line up, camp out overnight, stampede into stores upon opening, and generally resolve into a hysterical mode of shopping. When traveling or just heading the town for the night, you might see two restaurants side by side. One has very few customers, while the other is pretty full. Most people assume that the one that is empty is not as good as the full one, and opt to wait at the full restaurant. Investing. Investing is an interesting study into herd behavior, as investors will often make rash decisions on their investments based on what others are doing. In fact, many people begin investing solely because they find out that others are investing. When you walk into a party or social gathering, you might see a large group of people and a handful of small groups of two or three people chatting. Generally speaking, you will gravitate towards the larger group. Fear of missing out, or FOMO, is a pop culture concept that describes the tendency for people to constantly compare themselves to others and feel strong urges to keep up with the Joneses. For example, if a close friend posts social media pics of their travels, you will want to travel too. Okay, so let's apply this to marketing leadership in avoiding herd behavior in the office. In certain situations, herd behavior can have a positive impact on your team such as when you have a lower producer on your team. You would want to surround them with higher producers. Being around higher producers could increase the lower producer's productivity. However, herd behavior in an office setting can lead to complacency, stagnant growth, and monotony. Here are a few ways that leaders can avoid herd behavior in their team. 1. Hiring. Start at the beginning and screen employees with behavioral questions to understand their personal motivations. This can help to mitigate herd behavior problems before they start. Number 2. Diversity and Inclusive. Generally speaking, teams that are diverse and inclusive have the highest productivity and creative problem-solving skills. Number three, consciously cultivate culture. Whether you're looking for employees to push the bounds in terms of creativity, be highly productive, or be growth-minded, it is important that leaders consciously cultivate the company culture. Number four, give employees a voice. Employees that feel like they can address personal and professional problems without retaliation are more likely to do so. This can include instituting an open door policy, recognizing concerns that have been brought to you and how you are working through them, or allowing employees to address problems anonymously through a suggestion box. Number five, communication training. Train employees and management at all levels on effective communication, including active listening, courteous dissent, and responding to conflict. These soft skills are fundamental in eliminating groupthink and herd behavior. Six, eliminate stress. Herd behavior is a decision-making process in which we rely on instincts, others' behaviors, and raw emotions to make decisions. In stressful situations, we are more likely to rely on our instinctual decision-making processes. Eliminating or decreasing unnecessary workplace stress can be an effective step towards eliminating herd behavior. Number seven, eradicate time constraints. We've all been in meetings that needlessly go on and on. 
For this reason, many leaders will knock off the to-do list quickly during meetings. But when it comes to brainstorming sessions, it is important that the team members are not pressured to finish early. Just as in stressful situations we rely too much on our instinctual decision-making process, so do we in time-bound decisions. For important decisions, it can be helpful to schedule more than the expected amount of time. This way, team members are going in knowing that it will be a longer than average meeting and won't be running for the door, which will give them time to think through the brainstorming process. 8. Incentivize. Providing the right incentives can help to alleviate herd behavior by encouraging the behaviors you want to see more of, such as higher productivity or out-of-the-box thinking. Wrapping it up, understanding how we as humans make decisions is an important part of marketing and leadership. Behavioral economics is the study of decision making and can give keen insight into employee behavior and help to shape your leadership style. Herd behavior is all about making a decision based at least in part on the behavior and choices of others. In this episode, we discussed ways that leaders can avoid herd behavior in the workplace, including eradicating time constraints, communication training, consciously creating culture, and building diverse and inclusive teams. If you are enjoying this podcast, give me a shout out, like it, share it, follow it, and review it. Also, if you enjoy my style but want to learn more about travel destinations, you are in luck. I just launched a new travel podcast, the Hub and Spoken Travel Show. Check it out on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or online at www.hubandspokentravelshow.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Behavioral Economics and Marketing. This is Sandra Thomas-Kamenaw. 